All right, here comes Jesus clip, guys. Either we're gonna continue the run or we're gonna lose the run. What will it be? Hundred and thirteen people sub five minutes. So Mario one is definitely a it's definitely easier than than Mario three in terms of something like that. Now Mario three, ten 11 minutes is a huge difference compared to, you know, 5 minutes and 10 seconds, which is, you know, a pretty average run. So it's always hard to say. It's always hard to say. Some people... Somebody just... Like, there's people out there who just absolutely understand the physics in Mario 1. It just makes sense to them. It's what their body wants. It's how they want to play. So they're going to be amazing at it. Now that same person might not have that same feeling for Mario 3. So the world's best Mario 1 player could be like, Mario 3 is impossible. Right? But the world's best Mario 3 player might be like, well, no, it's not that impossible. It's actually pretty easy. It's like two different worlds, right? So the comparison is... It's a little difficult, you know? It's hard to really compare what game's harder and what game's easier. Traditionally and statistically... A longer run is inevitably going to be harder, and it, that almost never matters in terms of game. Like, is Super Mario Bros. Warpless harder than SMB3 Warpless? Not even close, right? Mario 3's Warpless, just because it's 50 minutes long, is infinitely harder than Mario 1's Warpless. Astronomically harder. Right? And it's only because of the time difference. You gotta, you gotta play for an additional 30 minutes. A 5136 in Warpless for Mario 3? That would probably take you over a year and a half. I mean, Haxer's been running this game for almost two years and he still doesn't have that time. <laughs> Hard to, better put it to the test. You guys just want me to play Mario 1. Sick burn. No, it's not a burn. It's, I'm just saying how, how difficult the difference is and most of it's due to time man if mario 3's any percent warpless was 20 minutes long it'd be a much better comparable yeah that's right you'd be able to compare it much, like way better i think at least but also out of everything that i say straight down to the bottom of everything it's it's really hard to compare these like i said some people just have an itch for these games like, the world's best Mario 1 player is just so good at Mario 1, they just, they see the movements. It's just, it makes sense to them. So, any other game would seem, you know, it's crazy. Haxer's not bad at Mario 3. Yeah, but Mario 1 doesn't get fun hard. It gets lame precision hard, bound by frame rules. Mario 3, like if we're comparing Mario 1 to Mario 3, Mario 3 is far superior in every way in the speedrun aspect, I swear to god. Mario 1's just like, uh, didn't hit frame rule, don't save time, miss the buzz. <laughs> and the speed of Mario 1, ugh, you don't even run fast. Like, Mario 3, you got a P-meter manipulation, and you got a left-right, you got to watch out for the three cards, and you got your Hammer Brothers, which one do I get? I don't know, and then I, which path do I take? What's the fastest way? You're always on top, man. You're always on top of everything. Mario 1's like, oh, another pipe jump over a plant. Oh, look. World 6, recycled skins from World 1. Wow. Oh, this is how they're gonna spice it up. Bullet Bills randomly shooting. Look, the same Bowser pattern. <laughs> he was in his best shape. I'm not saying Mario 1's bad. I thought we were comparing Mario 1 to Mario 3 right now. Isn't that what we were doing? I love Mario 1 thing. I think Mario 1's dope. It's such an iconic game. It's very important in the library of video games. It belongs in it. It has its place in memory for years to come. For years to come. 
Don't even- Hey, don't even try and backpedal, GTAs. You're here from the start of the comparison. Don't even try. You came in, you said, someone say Mario 1. Nice try, GTAs. You can't backpedal that easily. In Super Mario World, we went back to- Frig! That's all good. No, Mario 1's dope, man. Imagine there was a boss at the end of Desert Bus. You drive for eight hours, and then you have to, like, your bus turns into this, like, gun. And you have to fight Las Vegas hookers or something. It's like a hooker monster. With the tentacly arms. And if you lost, that's it. You gotta drive back. Boy, that would be a frustrating bus ride. Bustimus Prime. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Blake? You have to fight Auto at the end. Yeah, something funny like that. 503 is okay. I only did speedruns for one week. Practice and runs was one week. Yeah, you'd get towed back, man. That would suck if they put a boss there. That would be so bad. Duckfist, how much do you hate this strategy? This is like the worst... This is the worst time save that's weirdly free in any speedrun. I hate this time save. Thank God. I didn't get it. Yo, Fixiac! If I jump before the pipe, then I'll enter the pipe before Mario touches the ground. Which means if, whenever I exit the pipe, the game still thinks Mario's in the air. Because I haven't touched the ground yet. Right? If I run from the ground and go into the pipe, then the game's like, Oh, I pulled you into the pipe from the ground. But if I jump into the pipe, then the pipe's gonna pull me in from the air. Does that make sense? And if it's pulling me in from the air, whenever I exit on the other side, the game's like, oh, you're still in the air because we didn't pull you in from the ground. We as in the pipes. Does that make sense? I mean, no one knows why being in the air is different from being on the ground, but uh, it's very important for the P-meter in Mario 3. The air versus the ground, Dude, I don't know. The P-meter is just so insanely complicated sometimes. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, but awesome. Except for the five second, yeah. Or if you do like this massive turn back in the air, I think, right? Actually, no, I don't even think that does. Almost plus three. You can't accelerate forward in the air. You can if you have a flipper. Those things will push you. Pata Pata is like the Japanese version of like Fly Fly. Where's my Fly Fly? I need my Fly Fly. Childhood rune. Getting freed.
come on, man. Enough of the movements of two, dude. <laughs> come on down. You're such a jerk, man. You are such a jerk. That level's the best level. That's the best fucking level in the run. You just annihilate everything. Ruthless. Of course. I just lost the sec- I just lost one and a half seconds right there from that. Easy. Easy one and a half second time loss. I knew I wouldn't get it. It was my position. It was it was when I jumped at the dot. The dot jump screwed me. Dang man, it would have been really nice to get that P speed. Yeah, I jumped- I jumped too late at the top there, sadly. Some of best is a 109.30 something. I missed my A press by a frame! I- Ooh, man. You guys know that the safest way of doing this level versus the fastest possible way is only the difference of 20 frames never do it the scary way guys yo what up sd how's it going man two months tier three welcome back Uh, the speed boost, it gives you a boost of 60, but you can't really keep it for very long, so that doesn't really add much towards the frame counter. That that would probably give you an additional, like, couple frames. Not much, though. Because you have to single frame jump off the ground to keep the 64 speed. And well, within a couple frames, you're right back down to uh, 56. Uh, I definitely tested that out as well, yes. Can you believe that? There's no reason for anyone to ever not do the safest way possible. I'm talking turn back over the first one, hit the hit the third one, hit the fourth one. You know what I mean? Turn back. Oh man, it's crazy, man. I didn't. I thought the difference was much bigger, but it actually ended up not being very big at all. I'm not dying from this pipe. Should I go for Jesus Clip? This World 5 is really good. What? How did that happen, man? Come on. What, a oh, what an annoying time loss. Get out of here, HBs. Oh, I didn't get it. Or I did. This game hates me. This game hates me. This game hates me. Uh, do your math homework and watch me at the same time. Oh my god. Keep giving me movements of two when they really don't need to. Get it? They only need one. Oh 
man, if I faced her up there, I would have died. If I faced her up there, I would have died. So, because my patterns were so off there with what I was doing, that guy, it ended up lagging on my input. Wasn't anything I could do there.